basements are often the most private areas of a home, making them a logical choice for keeping things you shouldn't have. In Michigan, a mechanic was called to fix electrical circuits in a basement, but discovered an unexpected surprise. The owner was using the space to illegally keep a pet alligator in a steel cage for nearly 20 years. Though the pet wasn't in immediate danger, the mechanic empathized with the mistreated creature. He took photos for evidence and sent them to local authorities, who then rescued the alligator. Go ahead and take him and put, yep, put him right down. The owner faced legal consequences for having an illegal pet and must now allow random checks to ensure it doesn't happen again. In 2020, Christopher Town faced a life-threatening situation while assisting a friend with furniture in the basement. Little did they know, the house was built over a well. As Christopher moved across the room, the floorboards gave way, causing him to plummet 25 feet. Luckily, there was water at the bottom, softening his fall. However, he had to use rocks on the wall to keep his head above water until the local fire department arrived. To add to the challenge, the water was extremely cold. Within a few minutes, the fire department successfully rescued Christopher using a hauling system. Despite the risk of hypothermia, Christopher emerged unharmed from the incident. In 1961, a caring father disappeared from his family's home, leaving his wife and two sons to manage on their own. Growing up, the sons felt neglected by their father, impacting their ability to build relationships as they became adults. Sadly, their mother passed away in 1998 without ever learning what happened to her love. The mystery was eventually unraveled a few years later on Halloween night. While searching for decorations in the basement of their family home, the brothers stumbled upon human remains. Surprisingly, the father hadn't left the home and had suffered an instantly fatal accident. Since the family had no reason to go down there before, they remained unaware of the tragic incident. Back in 2002, a homeowner in Jefferson County, Wisconsin, discovered her house's foundation was deteriorating. In November, she applied for a loan to fix it. About two weeks later, while at work, she received a call from the repair workers with a shocking revelation. They explained that while digging around the foundation wall in the basement, they uncovered the complete skeletal remains of a 50-year-old man. More unsettling was the revelation that the house had been constructed directly on an ancient burial ground dating back around 170 years. Experts believe that there are likely hundreds more skeletons nearby. This discovery brought the house renovation to a halt. Back in September 2013, several Ohio State University students made a surprising discovery. This group had recently moved to an off-campus house near the school, and it was in the basement that they would stumble upon something unsettling. Just a month after settling in, they began noticing odd things. Cupboards, the oven, and even the microwave left open. The house had three stories, with five students on the first floor and ten on the second and third, making it hard to keep track of everyone. When they realized none of them were behind the strange occurrences, they decided to investigate, focusing on the basement. Behind a locked door, assumed to be a utility closet, they found a room that seemed to be lived in, complete with framed photos and scattered school textbooks. Although they never got confirmation, they contacted the landlord, who stated the door shouldn't have been locked. A maintenance worker broke down the door, revealing the occupied room. That night, the students changed all the locks and left a note for the man living there. He called the number and was later removed from the household. It turned out he was a cousin of a previous resident and had a key. 
One student even recalled encountering him in the basement earlier that month, but his identity remained vague. In the end, the students blamed the leasing company for failing to change the locks from the previous year, leading to this peculiar incident. In January 2010, Wally and Linda DeForest moved into their new home in Goshen, Indiana. Just a week later, they stumbled upon an unexpected surprise in their basement, a live torpedo. The couple noticed the torpedo looked old, but was evidently still active, with no signs of being disarmed. Concerned, they called the police, prompting a bomb squad to handle the situation. Fortunately, they managed to extract the torpedo without any issues. It's worth noting that the squad confirmed the explosive was still active when they arrived, making you consider how much worse the situation could have been. In the basement of an old London house, a peculiar collection had been recovered. Preserved remains of werewolves, fairies, aliens, and more. This strange assortment included mythical beasts displayed in cases and jars, often in odd poses. One particularly odd specimen was a fairy skeleton with wings nailed to a display board alongside alien bodies and hairy humanoid creatures. This unusual stash also features sketches of Jack the Ripper's supposed victims. Allegedly, it belonged to an 1800s aristocrat named Thomas Theodore Marilyn and was found by builders in the basement. Thousands of tightly sealed wooden boxes contain these unsettling artifacts. But let's get real. It all sounds absurd, and most of these creatures aren't real. Science has the straightforward answer. It's all fake. The likelihood of an old aristocrat having a basement full of mythical creatures is close to zero. Many believe the photos and the story are a big hoax, likely created by the artist behind the sculptures. <laughs>